guys, welcome back to another episode of Project Euro. Today we are going to be restoring these tired headlights on this 2008 X6. As you can see, the headlights are quite faded at the top. There's quite a lot of, um, I guess, marking and scouring up the top and some yellowing as well. So what we're going to do, instead of replacing the, um, the lens on the outside, which you can actually do, we're going to try using this uh, Mother's New Lens Headlight Renewal Kit. Uh, this was about $65, purchased from the local um, auto parts store, um, and it comes with all of these things. So basically, from what I can tell, uh, we have to sand the headlights with um, a few different grits of sandpaper. We then uh, will continue to polish the headlights using this um, Mother's Power Plastic 4 Light Plastic Polish, um, which I believe is the final step. Um, and then once that's done, we can uh, actually protect it further using this um, headlight protection film. Um, or we can just use a ceramic coating on top, which I think is the uh, route that I might go down. Um, so this kit basically, um, it, it, there's enough, uh, there's basically enough product in here to do four lights, I believe. Um, and it allows you to restore them and maintain the headlights as well. So it comes with a click change polishing tool, um, a three inch soft flex backing plate, the Power Plastic 4 Lights uh, Restoration polish, polish and the Quick Change uh, Restoration Discs. So, um, yeah, let's uh, give it a crack and um, we'll see how we go. Okay, the first step is complete now. I'm using a Makita, uh, what is it, an 18 volt drill, um, BDF452. Um, and I couldn't really get the speed right when I was using the, um, when I was using the sanding disc on the end of the drill. It was either too slow or too fast. So just be mindful that you might need to get a drill that sort of has more variable speeds than just two. Um, I think actually, um, yeah, I think an electric drill might have been better than a battery operated drill, but um, that's okay. So what I've done is I went over all the bits that I could 
um, with the electric drill and then I came back and did the rest by hand. So uh, it looks fairly even. Most of the damage on this one was sort of up here, so this is sort of the area that I focused on. Um, there is a little bit of a gap here, which I might just go back and get into. Um, but yeah, it is quite a messy job, very wet. Um, I originally used this bottle of water <laughs> with a hole in the lid to sort of squirt over the squirt water over the um, over the headlight, but it didn't really work very well, so I just took it off and just started pouring it on. Um, so definitely get some masking tape that is uh, waterproof, otherwise um, you're not going to protect your paint very well. And I definitely recommend masking the area before you commence this job because um, yeah, you're going to have to. Basically, it's really hard to keep the drill uh, controlled, um, especially when you get close to your bumpers and bonnet and whatnot. So yeah, be really careful when you're actually using this this tool on the end of the drill because it is quite hard to control. Um, so I'm just going to actually jump and do the uh, passenger side now um, and then we'll jump back on to the next stage. So um, yeah, let's uh, keep going. <laughs> after step two which is the I think it's 1500 grit um, one thing I will say is the drill uh, didn't perform as well on the 1500 grit as it did on the 800 grit um, it was quite difficult to control over the headlight I do wish um, that I actually applied more masking tape around here because it is quite wet and I just sort of wonder what sort of protection it is giving me as I'm working through this process now I can see there's quite, still quite a lot of swirls and stuff in here so I'm gonna have to go over it again but the kit only gives you uh, two of each of each uh, grit sandpaper for each level which is really frustrating I wish they gave you maybe four of each um, just so you do have extra and you can jump on a new um, I guess a new other 800 or 1200 grit sandpaper just so you know if you've got headlights like this that are quite large you can really kind of make the most of it so I'm gonna have to kind of go over here again and it does look a little bit patchy here, so I'm also going to get re go over that area again um, just to make sure that it is all even. Um, but you know, it is getting there. Um, all right, so I'm going to continue on. second last step is to hit it with this buffing pad um, followed by the polish and the polishing ball um, the lights are still looking quite hazy right now and I'm a little bit stressed out that it's not gonna become clear anytime soon so um, let's set up the camera and let's do some time-lapse and let's hit it with this um, hit it with this polishing disc <laughs>
Hey guys, so we are almost finished with the uh, second last stage. So what I did is I actually swapped to a uh, powered called quarter drill, which is a lot quicker and it made the polishing so much nicer. So any, if I have any feedback for you guys doing it at home, use an electric drill that's uh, a lot faster than your battery drill because the finish is just so much better. There are a few little scuffs here that I'm actually hoping that I can, can't really see them that I can get out um, with a bit more polishing. And I've also taken off the masking tape and I've re, uh, I've added another, another, layer of, another layer of tape to the, to the masking around the headlights just because um, with the new faster drill, I didn't want to risk hitting the paint at all. Um, so here's the other side. So I'm just gonna add more masking tape around there and then continue on there. But I will set up the time-lapse again. product um yep pretty happy with the result um as you can tell all the yellowing from the top is gone the lens feels super smooth to touch there are a few little tiny little nicks there where i might have gone a little bit too uh fast with the drill or on a funny angle but um yeah night and day difference definitely recommend so i've just got to finish off the uh, passenger tail light and then I've finished, but you, know, you can see there's a really beautiful shine there. And if I wanted to, I could probably keep going a little bit further with the um, with the polish. But yeah, look, definitely recommend this over um, over replacing the lens just to start with. And then, you know, if that doesn't work for you, definitely you can look at pulling out the headlight and changing the the lens. But I believe that's quite a quite a large job. So you can see there, beautiful shine.